In this video, I'm going to show you how to associate an incident ticket with a problem ticket. If, um, as we're working on a problem, new calls, new incidents might occur, and each of those new incident tickets should be associated with a problem ticket so that we can gather more information, and also th so that we can efficiently communicate with all of the end users that are experiencing these incidents. So it's a pretty simple process. As you can see, in the incident ticket, there is a problem field, and you might already know the number of the problem ticket that you're looking for, in which case you can just type it into the field, but most likely you're going to have to do a search. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick search uh, for uh, the problem ticket I'm looking for. The situation I have is a, um, has to do with surveys. So you might be tempted to use this go to option up here. By the way, the default on that is go to number, which is only useful if you know the problem ticket number. Uh, you might be tempted to go to short description and say, well, I'm going to go to a short description that contains the text survey. If I try running that survey, ah, uh, great, now I can find my problem tickets. And actually, I know that I want to go to this very first one because that's the one I opened most recently. Okay. Once I have the problem ticket number in there, I can go ahead, and save and go. This incident now is associated with that problem ticket. And to confirm, I could go to my listing of problems. Let's see, I'll go to my all problems. And again, I might want to search for my problems. I should find my problem ticket. And I'll go ahead and minimize my left nav. Towards the bottom, I can see that I now have the ticket that I had just opened is also associated with this problem ticket. And that's all for associating an incident to a problem ticket.